Hades 19. Before the coming of Christ, did the dead descend into Hades? Before the coming of Christ and his passion in the year 33, did all the dead descend into the Sheol, in other words, in the Hades, the living room where they wander in, like shadows when we examine the description of the Old Testament? When we look at the texts written in Hebrew, we have the impression that this is how it is, that it is a terrible state of wandering. For example, in Isaiah chapter 38 verse 18, it is not in the Sheol that the Lord is praised to you. It is not in death that you are praised. Those who went down into the pit did not praise you. They no longer hope for your fidelity while the living, the living him you hope. By reading some of these Old Testament texts, which have even concluded that the dead were no longer aware of anything, that they were asleep, they were waiting for the resurrection at the end of the world. In fact, Jesus rectifies it in the parable of Lazarus and the rich man. He illustrates that the rich man is in the Sheol, in the Hades, and that he is alive and well, but that he is a wanderer. His heart is empty, he is unhappy, and he sees from afar poor Lazarus, who is with Abraham, probably in a temporary paradise call it Abraham's bosom. This paradise is described in Luke chapter 16 verse 22. So we can say it clearly that not all the dead descend into the Sheol. Some were waiting in paradise and our Catholic faith says that they entered the definitive paradise in the beatific vision on Good Friday after the death of Christ when the heart of God was opened and we were able to see God face to face. So what is this Sheol, this Hades, that the ancient civilizations and religions also spoke of? Looking at our Catholic faith, we can undoubtedly reconstruct what was happening. Old Testament men like us were created by the same God for the same purpose, to see God face to face, to see the Trinity face to face. And we know it was already revealed to Moses. No one can see God without dying to himself. We cannot endure the beatific vision without being as dead to our desires, even legitimate ones. So God must take the place. This debt to oneself, it is difficult to obtain and often it is necessary to have suffered, to have experienced its misery in order to die to oneself. Now, apparently the Bible, which tells of the period of the Neolithic, but also of the Bronze Age, of the Iron Age, men were very proud, very full of themselves with a hard art. The hardness of the art of these men, Jesus even speaks about the law of Moses, so they were quite far from dying to themselves. When they died as a result, not being ready to meet the angel of the Lord who would announce to them a messiah who will come to die for them then god will allow them to dwell in the wilderness in the shia for shall we say about 40 years as the hebrew people symbolically say that means a long long time until they die to themselves there there are texts which explains why your sons will be nomads in the desert for 40 years, bearing the weight of their infidelities until they die, and their number are complete in the wilderness. 
It is in the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 33. We have also other texts which go in the same direction. Jeremiah 22, 26, which can be attributed to what people were experiencing at that time. The Lord said, I will throw you and your mother who gave birth to you in another country. You were not born there, but you will die there. And this country to which they long to return, they will not return. Moses receives this revelation. They will all die in the wilderness. It means that, in fact, in this Sheol, the goal was that one dies to oneself, not to be lost, obviously, but in order to be saved. But these people did not understand this. They did not No, it's so they went through moments of despair, hence the knowledge of the ancient religions of souls wandering in the desert, wandering between this world and the next. Ghosts everywhere, we spoke about this also. It was most likely like a purgatory. It was death to itself. And luckily, this passage through death, this El Khalid Sheol, did not last forever. One day, Christ came to visit this place, and he emptied, and these people, being like dead to themselves, were able to enter the Beatific Vision. But that's what I'll see in the next video.